for the Camp Arif John installation that requires us doing sweeps with the mail, the sweeps with the gateway customs, and also the ECPs that are here on Arif John. So it's very important for us to do the demonstrations for any of the units and soldiers. It not only shows who we are by face, but it also puts out there the assets they have available to them. It gives everybody an opportunity to learn and figure out how they can actually use it for their own personal unit as well. So essentially we can be utilized by anybody and everyone. And with that asset available to them, it allows units, whether it's infantry, if it's a route clearance or any other kind of unit, we can be utilized by them. It doesn't have to be just military police. We're all individual augmentees when we deploy. So when, whether I have Air Force, Navy, Army, and Marines in my kennel, I can utilize them in the same aspect as I can the Army. Most people have a, a myth that we just quote unquote play with our dogs. However, we're actually training every day of the week with these MWDs because they're not just pets or animals. They're actually a tool that we have to be used not just for us, but for the units that are out there. So showcasing them actually brings out a light in what available asset they have. If units ever have any questions or comments or concerns, they can always call the kennel. You're in the building! It's military police canine! Make it so no my sign or sound, or I'll send my dog! Dog is trained with without command! On the leash! Uh, so it's something we've been working on for a while, uh, just trying to get joint training with HPD, uh, their SWAT canine guys, as well as TSA um, and RSRT. Uh, due to being able to implement our dogs for SRT if the situation arises, having that training prior to uh, is essential. So we, we train every day, um, detection, um, patrol, bite work, all that good stuff. So some of the takeaways for today are uh, with the HPD, the SWAT guys, obviously uh, knowing what our dog's weaknesses are, getting in the stack uh, and building on that. The takeaway from the tactical side is going to be obviously uh, what the handlers need to focus on more so uh, than just finding explosives. So they can find explosives great, but if they're not checking their doorways, if they're not constantly watching the dog, seeing where their dog's at, the dog could set off a device, in which case both handler and dog uh, could perish.